Welcome to the Bilsif Show, eh? Friggin' right. Sorry, no RC in today, boys and girls. I gotta figure out why my drive shaft is crickly crackling. Friggin' right I do. Now, I know a lot of you said, it's coming from the rear end, boys, but it's not coming from the rear end. Frig no. I've had three different mechanics look at it, and the crackling's coming from the old drive shaft. So... It's either got a hairline crack in it, or this ain't seat properly, or something like that. They want 150 boners for the uh, for a used one at the junkyard. So that's my last last resort, boys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release it, and we're gonna check this U joint again, make sure it's seated properly and cleaned up, whatnot, and then we'll kind of go from there because it's the only thing I can think of doing right now. Friggin' right it is. But uh, I normally do this at work on the hoist. Have the afternoon off, I do for this reason. Part of my holidays, boys. Hey, bring raise part of my holidays. So we'll get this off and we'll see what's really going on. Like I said, hopefully we can figure this out without having to replace the drive shop, but I'm telling you right now, it sucks. Horrible noise is coming out of this thing. If it still does it, I'll show you the noise after and you can determine and just probably say hey to rear end. But no, check the rear end, topped up. I've got GM friggin' Limited slip, pause oil in there. The springs look good and this and that and the other thing. Someone chubby to check that and they, so I checked it. That's what Bill Sub does, eh? Friggin' listens to you. Why wouldn't I? We'll yank this and we'll see what's what we will. But there's not much to taking out the dry shaft, to be honest with you. The dry shaft's the easy part. Taking out the dry shaft's the easy part, boys. It's just a matter of laying under your truck and then doing four bolts and Bob's your friggin' uncle. Or your nephew's daughter's sister, hey? One of the two. Make sure you subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you uh, like working on the old Chevy Silverado. Why wouldn't you? I sure like working on the old Chevy Silverado. Not. Frig no I don't. One. Hey, one. And two. So now we'll go under a little deeper here and we'll grab the other two. We will. I should have maybe put it in neutral so I could spin this thing, but hey, this is me you're talking about here. I think I will go put it in neutral. Why the hell wouldn't I? Now when you're working on your Chevy Silverado underneath the truck, make sure you friggin' put jack stands under it, boys. Gotta be safe, we do. It's the last thing I want to happen to the truck fall on me. Friggin' right it is. Oh, that's much easier. See what happens when you friggin' put it neutral? Actually move it, boys. Oh, looks pretty good seated to me. Frig. I think it's a dry shaft, I really do. But hey, there's only one way to try it. We we'll pull her out and have a gander at her somehow. I might have dropped the rear end to get these nuts off. A little bit more, boys. It's all in the way you hold your tongue. Okay, there it goes. Ooh, eh? Ooh. Now, when you drop your drive shaft, make sure you don't lose the end caps or the needle bearings. Because if you lose the needle bearings, you're dickered. Oh, frig. Oh. Frig that's in there, boys. I don't think this is gonna be long enough to pry on. Oh, it is. Jeez. So there we go. That part's off. And as I see right now, looks like it was seated pretty good, it does. The U-joint still feels good. They're friggin' brand new, they better. That one feels good. Frig, they feel great. Frig. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray with some WD. And I'm just gonna take a little file with a round edge on it and just feel it. Make sure there's nothing on there, boys, that will cause the to be cocked, eh? Just a little bit. Don't want to take off any material. You just want to feel for lumps, you do. And it feels pretty damn nice. So I don't think seating is the issue. But we'll clean her up anyways. Careful. Give her a little wipey, wipey. That looks good. Nice and clean, nice and clean. Nice and clean, nice and clean. Hmm. So I don't know if I should maybe yank the drive shaft back out again and check it. Give your comments below if you think I should Pull the drive shaft back out, boys. Look for any cracks or tears or breaks or whatnots. The only problem when you pull it out, you lose a little bit of oil you do out of the transmission. See? Well, seating issue is definitely not an issue. It's definitely seated properly. The grooves look good, so I don't think it's that. So let's grease this thing up and slap it back on. Tighten her down again. Check these. There's a little bit of a weird wear on them. They're a little freaking stuffy. Let's get them cleaned up a little bit. These things here are actually pretty, pretty cocked over, boys. So I got it cleaned up actually quite a bit I did. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna hit it with some grease in here. Not a lot, cause it's just gonna fly everywhere and get all over the truck anyway. So we're not gonna go crazy. And then we'll slap the drive shaft back in. Make sure she's seated right. Which is right there. We'll look for the grease fitting. 
and we'll top it back up again, which is right there. Holy, it must be coming out somewhere, boys. Put a little bit of grease on the caps. Oh, okay. Spin her around, spin around this side. Put the caps back on. Or some shocks for the friggin' truck. Because they're deckered by looks of them. Where's my freaking head rest? There it is. Oh boy, head rush. And when you're doing this, make sure you put some Loctite on the bolt. Just a little bit, not red, just the blue. Hey? I didn't do it. Because I'm not sure I have to take it back off yet again. When I put it back together the first time, I gave her some Loctite it did. We'll get her in the middle and then we'll go put her back apart so I can get some torque on that thing. So there we go. So I reseated them. So let's start her up and we'll see what's what. And you can sit there and watch. Why wouldn't you? What the hell wouldn't you? So as you can tell, it's still there very loudly. So my next thing is buy another drive shaft and try it. That's all we can do, boys. Two new universals in this truck. New oil, springs checked in the posi. Transmission's fine. You're watching in the camera. The camera doesn't give it any justice, but the crack is coming from the whole drive shaft, not just the rear end, okay? So if you lay under the truck, when you put it in drive, it's back here. When you put it in reverse, it's up front on the drive shaft. If you put your hand on the drive shaft, you can actually feel it. So I'm thinking it's a drive shaft. I'm thinking I got a little crack or something going on somewhere, but, uh, We'll change her out. Frig. We'll go from there and uh, hopefully we can take care of this problem. Because honest with you, I don't know what else it will be, boys. It hasn't fell out yet, so we're onto a good spot we are. But hey, yesterday I was busier than hell I was. Hopefully somebody will comment below and let me know if you've heard this noise before. Because everybody's just guessing. But that's a noise that three mechanics in a row now have never heard. So it's not your normal rear end click and your universal click. It's a like a aluminum tinny sound click and it's not really a click it's like a load it's like a load boy it's like when you got a big dump and you're pushing real hard that's the only time it does it so i don't know what to tell you but look i painted the pillars of the whole fairgrounds here on the weekend they did check them out eh they're freaking decent need another coat ran out of green so hopefully we'll get that done this week we'll get that done still got some log splitting to do back there but uh, the back's starting to feel real good so i don't want to push it frig no i don't Cut down a bush in the corner with mom. Open the front yard up a little bit. It looks like cock back here, but when you look from the front back, she's freaking mint. Look at all the room there now. Opened her right up, I did. Freaking right I did. But I know a lot of you are waiting to see the old RCs, but don't worry boys, they're coming. It's just, I've been doing other stuff. That's the only problem with having a channel like mine where you work full time. You can't always dedicate your content to RCs, eh? You gotta kinda dedicate your content to whatever the hell you feel like it. Why wouldn't you? Cuda body for the old TRX foreskins and I get a retrofit. So that will be coming up in a video. And the, the dog slowly getting house trained. He's still a little bastard, but you're slowly getting better, aren't you, Emily? Hey, aren't you, Emily? Freaking right you are. Why wouldn't you? Other than that, what else I got to tell you? Oh, ordered a new carburetor for the golf cart too because the carburetor is just cocked over. I was adjusting it on the weekend there, trying to get it run a little better and I lost a grub screw right out of it. So $26 from China, new carburetor, boys. We'll have to see how that works, eh? Probably not very good. Frig no. But anyways, leave your comments below if you like this kind of video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Hit that notification bell bar button. And uh, you know what to do for now. Yeah.